Welcome everyone to another episode of Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. I'm your host, Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, coming to you from Moorhead City, North Carolina, and a special welcome to everyone. And an extra special welcome, if this is your first time tuning into the show, you may be watching on one of our YouTube channels, you might be watching on Amazon Prime, you might be watching on Roku, you might be listening on iTunes or Google Play, wherever you're coming from, just want to remind you, we talk about all things real estate investing here on the show. I have phenomenal guests, we're now approaching over 200,000 downloads and listens since we launched last year. And today is no exception. But before I introduce you to my very special guest, who is going to share with you some phenomenal funding and financing resources for your real estate deals. And yes, I've already used him and his company and their service is phenomenal. They close quickly. They do what they say they'll do and they actually deliver on time. But before I introduce him to you, I want to give everyone a free access and free pass to my masterclass that is online right now waiting for you to go check it out. It's called Where to Get the Money Now. And so this particular class is, it's about not relying on mortgage companies or traditional lenders or banks. I reveal in this masterclass the five steps that I use to having no funding, to having over $2 million in funding in less than 90 days. And so it's all about private money, doing business with individuals. I've got 48 private lenders right now funding our deals. It's all collateral based, no credit checks. And so if you want to learn how to get a lot of funding quickly, besides listening to my special guest today, go check out my masterclass. It's waiting for you. I'm going to put it right here on the video if you're watching the video. It's www.jayconner.com. J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast. That's www.J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast. Well, as I mentioned, I've been having some phenomenal guests here on the show, and today is no exception. My good friend and business colleague, his name's Paul Farrington, and Paul is based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And the company that he's with is named Lending One. Well, Paul, for years, has been in residential. He's been in commercial lending all the way back since 1999. Most of Paul's career, he has spent in residential lending, both as a direct lender and also as a broker. But Paul's experience over the years has helped him to understand lending inside and outside. He's become a master at understanding lending guidelines. And so when you talk with Paul about a deal that you've got for him to consider funding for you, there's no one better I know that can actually tell you very, very quickly as to whether you've got a deal or not. So Paul has worked for both large and institutional lenders like Lehman Brothers, Blackstone, and others. And so his experience is just phenomenal. He knows what he's doing. He knows the industry, and he can help you get funding for your deals very, very quickly. So with that, my friend, Paul Farrington, welcome to the show, Paul. Thank you very much, Jay. I'm excited to be here. I appreciate the advice. Absolutely. I'm glad to have you on. And I just want to go ahead and share with everyone that I first met you a short while ago. I want to say, I don't know, probably no more than three months ago. And I went to your website. A friend of mine had told me about your company. I went to the website. I filled out some initial contact information. And let me tell you what blew me away. I did it at night. It was like at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock at night. And you were actually calling my phone number at 9 a.m. the next morning. Impressive. And so you called me up, introduced yourself, told me about your company. You had all the answers to my questions. And I want to say that week or right away, it was like in the next day or so, I submitted, a, actually, I submitted a refinance deal to you and your company. And within just a matter of a couple of days, I think it was, I had a preliminary approval and closed on time and I got the money out of the property that I was requesting. And it was just a great experience. And it was not a quote unquote hard money lender experience. Like you hear so many people talk out there on the street. So, so Paul, you know, I covered in my introduction, your background, but before we dive into your company and the, and the different products and services that you offer, give people a little bit more about your background and why you're sure. qualified to be on the show. Sure, sure. Happy to. Thanks, Jay. So yeah, like I said, Jay, I've been in lending since 1999. So starting to show my age a little bit there, but you know, I've been in all kinds of residential, commercial, wholesale, retail. And the last seven years, I've been lending only to real estate investors. So very, very focused on the space. I traveled around to different seminars, you know, and representing lending one, uh, meeting people at trade shows and stuff, real estate events and stuff, so so forth. So well, you know, Paul, as a matter of fact, uh, I've got you booked. You're going to be coming to my upcoming mastermind meeting here in my local area in a few weeks. And in fact, I just had a monthly mastermind Zoom coaching call with my mastermind members, and they're all excited about you coming and them meeting you at the mastermind meeting. Yeah, I'm excited to do that. You know. It's great to meet investors and great to meet the people that you do loans with, especially in this day and age with all our technologies, with everything done over the web, with podcasts and so forth. It's great to just meet people face to face. You know, I, I travel around a bit. I was meeting with some investors last week in Atlanta, stopping by their offices to talk about, you know, doing some business. And so, yeah, I'm excited to come out to your event because, you know, we're all on the phone. We're all on the Internet. We're all, you know, doing things technology wise. But it's nice to meet people face to face as well. Yeah. Before the show, I know you mentioned to me, you, you've got a, a gift for my listeners and audience 
as to how they can save money. I want to go ahead and give that out in case we have some folks that have to jump off the show early. But we put together a special URL website that people can use to apply for, you know, when they've got a deal. And at this particular website, you so graciously have offered to waive the processing fee. And so that website, we just want to put it up right now, is www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash all one word, lending one. So tell the folks a little bit more about what they can take advantage of at that website, Paul. Sure, sure. Yeah, we're really excited to be partnered with you, uh, Jay, and your group. You know, we love your experience and your knowledge. You know, there's nothing like real world experience. You know, we can all learn from books in every other way, but uh, there's nothing like real world experience. So yeah, anybody that comes to Lending One through you, we're actually going to waive our processing fee on, on loans that you do with us. So we're happy to have you come to us directly, but we'd rather have you connect with Jay for his experience and we want to provide that discount of the free or, or the waiving of the processing fee. So, All right. So one more time, folks, that's www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash lending one. All right, Paul, well, let's go ahead and dive in on what uh, our viewers and listeners want to learn. And that is, what are the main points uh, about lending one that really makes lending one different from other or from hard money lenders? I know one big thing is your interest rate. I mean, you do not have the traditional hard money interest rates. But what is it that's your USP, your unique selling propositions? What is it that really makes lending one different than most of the other funding sources out there? Great, great. Thanks, Jay. Great question. Actually, it's funny because you had asked me about my experience and I immediately was biting my tongue trying not to talk about lending one. And, and in all sincerity, I've been in lending, uh, lending since 99. I've worked for companies like Lehman Brothers and Blackstone Group. The first thing I'll say, the founders of lending one, the two founders of lending one are real estate investors, longtime real estate investors. So I think that's awesome. They're not, you know, there's nothing wrong with bankers. I'm a banker. I work for banks. Nothing wrong with those people. But the biggest thing I would say in the differentiation between us and most any other lender is the founders of our company are real estate investors. They wanted to set up a company that provided great service, utilized technology, and provided investor-friendly loans. Without digressing too much, the CEO of our company, you can look him up. His name is Bill Green. He gets mad as heck if people don't answer the phone when they call into our company, or if they call at night, if we don't call them back first thing in the morning. So it's just part of who we are, service, technology, and packing up. If we quote you on a loan, it's going to close that way, you know, unless there's a material difference, you know, that, that, that allows us not to. But that's what we are, is we're not a hard money lender. We have rates on rental loans that are as far as below 5%. We have fix and flip loans that start at 7.5%. So we kind of fit in between hard money and banking uh, as far as that goes. Yeah. So you mentioned interest rates. I mean, I know what, I've, what I'm paying on my, my first deal I did with you. So I know it's going to depend. It's going to depend on the deal, the program, probably the experience that the real estate investor has. But what's a low range and a high range on interest rates that you're looking at today? Okay. Well, great question. And if you don't mind, Jay, I'll just mention that Lending One is a one-stop shop for real estate investors. And by that, I mean, we do fix and flip. So we do long-term rental loans for investors that like to hold on to properties. We do new construction. Uh, we do multifamily bridge loans. We're about to come up with come out with a, a line of credit for, for purchasing properties. We do portfolio loans. And later this year, early next year, we're going to be doing actually commercial loans. So just wanted to put that out there because rates obviously fluctuate based on what type of loan you are. But you know, the main two loans that people do with us currently are the fix and flip and the long-term rental. Loans start in the high fours to low fives on rental property loans. Those are single families, two to four units, townhomes, condos, et cetera. And then the uh, fix and flip loans, 7.5, 7.49 is currently our lowest rate. We have lowered rates a couple of times this year. And so they're pretty, pretty competitive. So I just heard, depending on the product, 4% or 4 point something percent up into the sevens, right? Correct. That's phenomenal. That's just phenomenal. I mean, that's like, that ain't hard money. In fact, that's less than what we actually pay our private lenders. So that's uh, very, very competitive. So I know what my experience was. It was fantastic. But, you know, I'm just one guy. You know, you originate a ton of loans. So on average, realistically, how long would you say it takes to close a deal from the time of, say, application? How long does it take to get an approval? What's that timeline? Like, like start from the very beginning. I mean, like, you know, how long does it take to even get approved initially to even do any kind of business? And then, you know, what's the timeline on actually getting a deal funded? Great. And actually, I'll explain that very easily. First step, Jay, is for them to go to your website, click through, and then they will be taken to our website where they can fill out a short application and they can get a quote in two minutes. So you can get a quick online quote. We're very, very much into technology. You can get an online quote in two minutes and it's going to be accurate. In terms of closing the loan, our bridge loans, aka fix and flip, seven to 10 business days. So we can we can close very quickly. Our long-term rentals loans take approximately three weeks. So again, pretty quick. And so, yeah, so it's not a long, a lot of processing. Uh, typically for most loans, it's about five or six documents. 
We're not verifying income. The loans aren't based off income. So it's a very streamlined process. Yeah, my experience on my first deal with you was very fast. It was actually a refinance. I uh, owned a rental property and I've had this rental property since the 1990s. And I wanted to refinance it. I wanted to pull some equity out of it and, you know, actually do some fix up on the property. And from the time we started, uh, that was a three week process. And so I was very happy with that on the refinancing. But then again, on, on purchases and fix and flips, I think you're closing those deals in as quickly as uh, what, a week and a half or so? Correct. Correct. Typically seven to 10 business days. And so, yeah, we want to. You know, that's how most real estate, real estate investors work. As you know, if they have a purchase, you know, they need to close quickly. And that's what we're geared towards is speed and efficiency. Yeah. So how much, what percentage do you advance on a purchase? 70%, 80%, 90% of purchase price? So we will go up to 90% of purchase price and we generally will lend a hundred percent of the rehab costs. So that's like, that could be, that could turn into like 95% of all in. <laughs> well, and, and just to be clear for your, for everybody listening is we have a one program, which is a 90, 90, you know, which, you know, is, so that's basically 90%. And then we have another program, which is 85, 100. So 90% is generally going to speaking, going to be the max. So it's pretty high leverage, but we still want the investor to have some skin in the game. Yeah. Well, and you know, as far as hard money lenders go, and I, I don't even want to use that terminology for your company, what would you call yourself? Do y'all call yourself a hard money lender? No, we're, we're private, private lender. And we lend, we do lend nationally. We're currently in 45 states and, and counting. So anyone that's connected to you personally or through this podcast, we're lending in 45 states, pretty much every state that, <laughs> that most everybody is in. And, uh, and yeah, I would say we're a private lender. We fit right in between, you know, hard money and, and banks. We're not as rigorous as banks. We're not going to collect as much documentation and our rates and fees as, you know, as we discussed are not, you know, typically not nearly as hard as uh, hard money. Right, right. So I want everybody to have a good understanding about the different products and services you have. You went through them a few minutes ago, but I want one more time for people to hear about all the different types of services you got and the different types of products. Great, great. Yeah, that's important. So yeah, and actually I'm going to add one more. So I'm glad you asked that. So we do a fix and flip, you know, your traditional fix and flip where you're buying a property and going to put do some repairs and you want to sell it. We also have that long-term rental loan for the buy and hold investor. The next one would be, we actually have a portfolio rental loan. So if somebody owns 10 properties and wants to put all those properties into one loan, we can do that. There's no limit. You know, we could bundle 200 properties together or more. We also do new construction. Uh, new construction loans are geared towards, you know, somebody that's done it before. So we're looking for a little bit of experience. And, and then we do multifamily bridge. And those are our core products right now. And then very soon, we're going to be coming out with a line of credit, as well as getting into some commercial loans. And there's one additional product that I'll mention, Jay, that's actually become more and more popular is we have, we do what's called the streamlined refi. Um, You've probably noticed, and, and you hold on to properties. I'm a big fan of, of buy and hold in terms of building wealth. And we have a streamlined refi. So if you want to rehab a property, we will do that in our fix and flip program. But actually, you can hold on to the property. And all that we need is a lease and an appraisal, and we'll turn your bridge loan into a long-term rental. We, we provide an incredible uh, deal on that as well. We will actually comp you for the appraisal on the rental loan. And, and we'll cut your fee in half on the rental loan if you do a bridge loan with us and turn it into rental. So, well, that's that's a very, very valuable product. So to make sure everybody understands, there's a property, it needs rehab. You can buy it using, when Paul says bridge loan, I call it fix and flip loan, right? So you can buy it using that product, but then you decide you want to keep it for the long term. You can convert it to a long-term rental. And I would suppose the interest rate would be uh, lower on that, right? Well, correct. Now you're into our, our rental rates, which are lower than our uh, fix and flip rates. So yes. So so it is a great program and you explained it better than I can. So I'm glad you summarized it there. <laughs> well, that's fine. So what about new real estate investors? So, you know, I've got a lot of a big part of my audience. They're still looking to do their first real estate deal, their first single family house or their first, you know, whatever kind of property. So uh, what about newbies? Not a problem to lend to newbies. First timers, we do loans for first timers every day, uh, literally. That's how much you know business that we're doing. We love dealing with first-time investors because typically they're going to grow. And if so, we can partner with them in the beginning and they have a good experience with us, you know, we can partner with them for the long term. On the bridge loans, or what I call the fix and flip or as well, is there's no experience necessary. First timers are fine. On the rental loans, you need to own one property. So to, just to be clear on that. Gotcha. Now, how about is there a limit to the number of deals or loans that you can do with a borrower? For example, you know, if you know, if you're using a traditional Fannie Mae product going to the traditional bank or mortgage company, the local bank is only going to want to have so much exposure with one particular borrower. How about you all? Good question. We have no limit to the number of properties or the number of loans you can do with us. Nice. Nice. Now you mentioned doing loans in 45 states. If you've got them off the top of your head, we might as well tell folks which five states you're not in so they don't worry with going to your website. <laughs> well, certainly easier than, than listing the 45, right? right. Uh, we don't lend in North Dakota or South Dakota. We don't lend in Vermont. 
We don't lend in Utah. And the last one is uh, Nevada. However, Nevada is coming down the pike very soon. So there's not too many investors in those, uh, you know, in those uh, other five states, you know, but there are definitely some. So uh, we're working on those uh, right now. Gotcha. What about the length of the notes? So on your fix and flip or bridge loans, what's that term? Length of the note, you know, traditionally among hard money lenders, it's going to be six months or 12 months. What does your program look like on that? So typically it's 12 months. There's an ability to extend, but it's a 12 month interest only payment on our fix and flip loans. You know, certainly back to the beginning, we've never charged interest unused or rehab money. And so, that is very different right there. Tell the audience what most hard money lenders do on that. So, so yeah, and again, you know, that's why I'm excited to work for Lending One is because the CEO, the founders of the company get it, the real estate investors. Our loans are investor friendly. On the fix and flip, there's no prepayment penalty. We don't charge interest on rehab money, A, until you take the draw. So most hard money lenders, you close the loan and you're paying interest on money that you haven't even put in your bank account yet. Internally, we call it phantom interest. I was going to say, something just doesn't seem right about that, right? No, no, exactly, exactly. Could we have structured our loans that way? Sure. But you know, we want to provide fair loans at fair prices, investor-friendly loans, provide good service, help investors scale. So in the long term, you know, we're, everybody's happy. Exactly, exactly. So, Paul, my lens, I can't believe we're almost out of time. So uh, let's see. How about some advice to, and you've talked with a lot of new real estate investors. What advice would you like to give to a new real estate investor when it comes to analyzing a deal to where, what advice would you give them on, well, you know, they're looking at a deal. Should they even submit the deal to you? You know? So yeah, great, great question. So yeah, and it's actually great because I was talking about this uh, just this morning with an investor. Similarly is we're going to do our checks and balances as well. So in other words, if you're doing a fix and flip loan, we want to make sure that you're making a certain amount of profit on it or we're not going to do that loan. And that's a win-win situation. If there's not enough profit in the loan, then you know we're not going to make that loan, but that's in everyone's best interest. It doesn't come up very often because most investors you know, are looking to, you know, to make a significant profit. That's what we want. But we're going to do some checks and balances. We're going to check your rehab budget to make sure that it's in line so that it sets, sets you up to succeed. We're going to do some you know, kind of internal checks and balances. We're going to check values on properties to make sure they're, they're in line with what's out there. So that's the kind of things that we do. They're small things, but to answer your question more specifically, you can go right online and get a quote. Chances are it's, it is about 98% foolproof. If for some reason it gives you an error message or doesn't work, then you know we can double check it to make certain, but certainly go online, get a quote. You can make sure it's going to work. We do have, uh, for instance, a $75,000 minimum purchase price on our uh, fix and flip loans. So, so if you go onto our system and you put in a $50,000 purchase price, the system's not going to accept it. However, I'm a big fan of the human touch. So, you know, pick up the phone, send me an email, go online, do all of those things. So, you know, we can always double check to make sure we've exhausted all options to make it work. That's perfect. Well, as I said, folks, Paul Farrington is a breath of fresh air to work with. And uh, he and his company actually do what they say they'll do. So connect with Paul at www.jayconner.com forward slash lending one. And that's spelled out O-N-E, L-E-N-D-I-N-G-O-N-E. Paul, we got just a moment for your parting comments. What, what message would you like to leave with the audience? Two things. You know, one thing is, you know, what we're really good at, I feel like as a company, is helping investors scale their business, helping them go from one to three to five to 10 to 15. Once you've done a, one loan with us, or once you've filled out one application, you only need to fill that application out once and you could do 30 or 40 loans with us. And that's why a lot of reasons people come back. Once you submit some of your documents, we save them all in our secure website. You don't need to keep submitting them every loan. So it's a very simple, easy process. And then the other thing is, you know, I always like to pay it forward and be transparent with people. So if someone calls me up, occasionally they'll say, well, Paul, hey, your rate's five and a half, six percent on a rental loan, and I can go get bank financing at four percent. I tell them, go get bank financing, exhaust that option. You know, that's a smart thing to do. And then when Fannie or Freddie or your local bank maxes you out, we're here for you. So I always feel like it's best if you help people and pay it forward, it comes back uh, tenfold. Yeah, well, you having a servant's heart is why you're so successful. Paul, thank you so much for being here on the show with me today. I appreciate it, Jay. Thank you very much. So with that, folks, one more time, go check out Paul Farrington at www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash lending one. And again, if you are listening on iTunes or Google Play, it would mean a lot to me for you to take just one moment and rate and review the show. We really appreciate your feedback and give us uh, comments. And if you're on uh, watching one of the YouTube channels, be sure and subscribe. Of course, you're on iTunes or Google Play. Be sure and subscribe and hit the little bell 
So you definitely get notified when we have a new show coming along so you don't miss out. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. And here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next show. Bye for now.